I saw this story. The uh, UFC signed. This is re reportedly. I don't know sources with knowledge, et cetera, et cetera. UFC inks a hundred seventy-five million dollar crypto deal within its largest sponsorship deal ever. This is with Crypto.com. Crypto.com actually reached out to us about this show right here. Mm. I was curious myself. I haven't used Crypto.com. Maybe people can let me know in the comments how, what they think about it, if they use Crypto.com and what their experience has been. But uh, they're going big time on this sponsorship deal. Uh, you may remember in the past that the UFC had their outfit partnership with Reebok. Reebok. And it was kind of controversial, I guess. I don't know. Maybe that's the wrong word. But it was just, at the time, prior to the Reebok deal, fighters could wear and se sell their own sponsorships and wear those badges on their clothing. Mm -hmm. And depending on the popularity of a particular fighter, of course, they could charge, figure out how much to charge for those sponsorships on their own clothing. Then when the Reebok deal came along, it was... They had to create a whole new business structure around how these payments would take place. So champions would get a different rate for having worn the Reebok gear versus people who it was their first fight. And then they had a couple specialty deals with the really big stars who I guess were um, the most influential. But, but they try to streamline the whole aspect of like no brands, just Reebok. Just Reebok. In the ring. And they try but to make it gun. almost like a jersey that you could buy. Sure, yeah. But I don't, I just, it's hard in fighting. There's so much personality. It's an individual sport. The team aspect of buying a jersey, I never, mm -hmm. it was always hard to know if it was going to work out. And then Reebok as a company was having its own struggles. As we've talked about in this show a number of times, um, under the umbrella of Adidas, trying to figure out, carve out its niche. It was playing with the CrossFit thing. And then I think that there was a thinking that maybe the fighting lined up with that. But either way, you heard a variety of opinions from fighters ab about their feeling regarding mm -hmm. Reebok. Either way, money and support for this group of individuals is obviously much needed. And one way to achieve that is... is through deals like this, at the scale like this. I mean, $175 million, I don't know what the distribution will be. I don't think it says. I think that's still up in the air. And it, it's the latest partnership between a sports entity and a rapidly growing world of cryptocurrency investing, which has gained prominence and popularity during the pandemic. The Miami Heat, for example, recently announced a long-term partnership with FTX.us. The crypto ex exchange also bought naming rights to the team's arena whoa so the heat arena will be called the ftx mm. the montreal canadians nfl quarterback trevor lawrence and ml mob are others that have signed deals in the industry so it's kind of, it's getting mainstream no doubt about it mm -hmm. it's getting mainstream but then on the flip side as you know will it's also still kind of there's a lot of unknowns there and there have been reports of promotions and partnerships that turned out to maybe not be all that great or all that uh, uh, tr uh, trustworthy. Like, trustworthy, yeah. yeah be, like there were, there were a couple of deals where people were like, oh, your influencers are pumping altcoins. And it's yeah. just a controversial mm -hmm. subject at the moment. And you're dealing with people's cash. You're dealing with people's wallets. And it's always going to be sensitive when you're dealing with people's wallets. Mm -hmm. And so... Uh, there's not, I mean, there's nothing in this investment game or, or exchange game or stock trading game. There's nothing in there uh, stopping you from, from ruining your life uh, if, you, if you choose to. I mean, it's up to yeah. the responsible individual, but it is kind of an interesting crossover here. For sure. And the amount of money is key because you know it had to be part of the consideration if you're UFC. Like Reebok is, okay, well, it's a sports brand. It lines up. It's fairly obvious and easy. But when you when when a cryptocurrency company reaches out to you, you're like, All right, you know, we'll consider what's your offer, and mm -hmm. they're like, let us show you our offer, mm -hmm. and then and then Dana White and the others and um, what is it Endeavor Group, and they're all like, we're listening, mm -hmm. and then and then Crypto.com is like, how does 175 million dollars over the next 10 years sound, and then they're like. We're we're that'll, listening. We're still. That'll, that'll do it. They're like we're still listening. Yeah. Believe it or not, we're still listening. I mean, a ten-year deal. That's a that's a long investment. Yeah, it's huge, man. You know? It's going to be a lot of crypto.com 
badges all yes. over the place in the it's UFC. It's going to replace the monster badge. In the I think, of the octagon. Listen, I think it's going to work for them, man, as far as getting the, getting the word out there. And they, sure. they have a pretty nice URL. Crypto.com is a pretty nice URL. Uh-huh. So we'll see how that plays out. We'll see how the fighters feel about it. I'm curious. Uh, I want to hear some of their takes. And also, if there's if we get any kind of indication as far as what the split looks like, mm-hmm. what portion of the 175 million uh, they, they get to. Yeah, let's uh, see how that looks like. They get to partake in.